Hey Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. I got another build video for you guys today. Today we're gonna be checking out the Solar Warlock build. If you haven't seen my two previous builds that I've done on this channel, be sure to go check it out and then come back and watch this one. I think you guys are gonna like this Solar build. I got it off of Error on YouTube. I'll have his links down below in the description. I hope I'm saying his name right. But this is a fun overall Solar Warlock build. So if you guys do enjoy this, consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel for some more Destiny build videos. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Here we are on my main screen, as with all of our previous build videos. First, I wanna say a quick little thing. We're gonna be basing this off the sun bracers. As you can see with the description, solar grenades burn longer and melee kills restore them. So make sure you have these sun bracers equipped. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into my subclass tree. You gotta use well of radiance, or if you wanna use daybreak, that's entirely up to you. You make the choices on that. But for my abilities, I'm gonna go and make sure you guys all follow with me. For my class ability, I'm rocking Phoenix Dive so that we can get restoration as well as um, healing teammates and then scorching targets when we're diving. We're gonna be in the air quite a lot from my movement ability i'm rocking burst glide that is the best warlock jump in my opinion on this class for our melee we're rocking the snap but you could switch out for a celestial fire if that is your preferred choice but for me i'm gonna personally go with the snap for our grenades we want to have solar grenade this is very important because obviously with the sun bracers you want to be using solar grenades so make sure you have solar grenades equipped coming over to our aspects we're going to be rocking heat rises as you can see with the descriptions we're going to be consuming our grenades that means we're going to be able to be in the air for a long time and if we get kills in the air we're going to be constantly refilling our melee energy using it over and over again to get our constant grenades spam over and over for our second aspect we're rocking the touch of flame you definitely want to have this on because it gives benefits to pretty much all the grenades on this subclass for our first fragment we're going to be rocking the ember of resolve as you can see with the description since we're going to be spamming grenades we're going to constantly be healing ourselves over and over again and this is definitely good to have on for our second fragment we are rocking the ember of searing where if we're defeating scorched targets it gives us melee energy and creates a fire sprite fire sprites are very good because it gives us grenade energy when we pick them up that way we could constantly have our nades over and over for our third frame we're going to be rocking the ember of ashes so that we can apply more scorches the more scorches we get the more targets would ignite and it's going to make a huge solar blast and it's going to be so visually pleasing so definitely have this on and for our last fragment we have the ember of torches where our powered melee attacks against combatants makes us and our allies radiant radiant is definitely a buff that you always want to have up you get a what is it 15 percent increase to your weapons so this is definitely definitely very good to have on and you also stun barrier champions when you have it uh activated now getting into our mod customization for our character there's not really any or at all there is no like mods that in the artifact that benefits the solar like stuff so it doesn't really matter for what you have on your artifact i'm going to be focusing mostly on the armor mods on my helmet i have a recov mod you might have something different but like i said in my last build video make sure you have at least maybe 70 all the way up until 100 in your discipline stat so that you can get your grenades back very quickly and have some recovery as well on a warlock and you can also try to get some resale with that as well be sure to have that for my next two mods on my helmet i have the ashes to assets as you can see with the description we gain bonus super energy on grenade kills we're going to be spamming grenades getting a bunch of grenade kills if there's a ton of enemies we're going to be getting some super energy it gives you a decent amount of chunk so be sure to have both of these on getting into our gauntlets we have the sun bracers the main focus of this build I have a discipline mod on here i'm rocking momentum transfer as you can see with the description causing damage of grenade reduces our melee cooldown we want to be constantly snapping our fingers throwing grenades snapping our fingers throwing grenades that's the process we're going to be doing all of that while we're in the air definitely want to have firepower on for our next mod um we're going to be creating orbs of power since we're going to be making tons of grenade throws and then for our last mod for the gauntlets we have the bolstering detonations it gives us class ability and energy when we're causing damage with grenades which means we're going to be able to phoenix dive a lot often heading into my chest piece i have a recov mod and i also have harmonic resistance be sure to have this on it's super helpful it only costs one energy so it doesn't take much you can slot in some other mods too so be sure to have this on i also have charged up so we can increase our armor charge stacks when we pick up orbs of light and then we have arc resistance always have arc resistance on because this like i said in my last video this season is just filled with a bunch of arc damage definitely doesn't hurt to have this on to reduce all the damage that you're getting and increase your survivability by a lot getting into our leg armor i have on a recov mod and then i have on stacks on stacks where we're going to be increasing 
our armor charge stacks every time we pick up an orb of power. Then our next mod will be insulation. As you can see with the description, be sure to have this on. For our last leg armor mod, we have invigoration. Reduces our melee cooldown each time we pick up an orb of power. I'm pretty sure you guys can see where this is all going. I'll show you a quick little video of how to build works at the end of this. So I'm sticking through. And getting into our last piece of armor, we have our bond. I am rocking a discipline mod on here and a recovery for mod since this is a artifice armor mod for my next mod i have on outreach as you see with the description this plays a lot into the build we're constantly doing a lot of things and having a bunch of cooldown reduction that way we could get some of our abilities up a lot more quicker our next mod we're going to have on powerful attraction when every time we activate our class ability energy we're going to pick up orbs of power that's nearby us when you're going to phoenix dive if there's a lot of orbit power on the ground, you're going to pick that up as soon as you Phoenix Dive. Super helpful to have. Then I have on Utility Kickstart for my final mod so that we gain a little bit chunk of our class ability energy after we use it. Definitely super helpful to have this on. Getting into our weapons. For the weapons, it doesn't really matter. But if you have a solar SMG or solar secondary, I prefer we like to use an SMG. Um, I have a demolitionist incandescent role on this no survivors um, SMG. I got this from the Ghost of a Deep Dungeon from the second encounter. I got super lucky with this. If you don't have this, you could use the, uh, what is it? Cal's mini tool, you can use that. Or you could use another solar SMG or solar or other solar weapon that can help you. It doesn't really matter. If you're heavy, I like using the commemoration. I think this is like the best legendary gun in the game. I just never take this thing off. I'm in love with it. I use this all the time. So if you have this, you can throw this on. If you don't, you can use something else entirely up to you. Wither Horde is okay to use. I like using it, um, but you could use something else. If you feel like it maybe like a sniper or something like that. Is a Nagis if you feel like using that. As you can see, I got the video for you guys right here. Essentially, you just consume your grenade and then that's when you just start raining mayhem on all the enemies that's currently underneath you you can see the orb of power generation as we're constantly doing that and we're just reducing a lot of cooldown and stuff this build is just very fun to use if you feel like using this please add this to your loadout and again shout out to error i'm not sure if he's the first person who created this but this build is just very fun to use and with that that brings us to the end of today's video if you guys did enjoy that please consider going down there and hitting the like button please share this video with your friends and be sure to check out the other build videos that i've done for the warlock subclass i will have the links all to that down below in the description just want to say thank you all for the recent support on the channel we just hit 500 subscribers here's the hoping that we hopefully hit a thousand probably by the end of the year it might not happen but we'll see when we get there and uh yeah i'll see you guys in my next video whenever that is take care